Hello everyone, I'm Freaky, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Animation Rewind, <laughs> Animation Rewinds, uh, Rewind, uh, Rewind Rumble, sorry. <laughs> um, Broly vs. Asura's Wrath. So if you guys haven't seen this video, if you don't watch that video, so that's come up with this. So that's it, let's continue. Um, I have been meaning to do this video for a very long time. E either that or, or did it like ages ago. And I completely forgot about it. So, um, e either way, um, everyone's a winner. So, um, either either I've uh, I've already done it, but I forgot about it, or this is the first time I've, I've done it. So there you go. Um, it's a it's a, it's a second go. So yeah, if if I, if I've if I've done it um, like last time, I'll uh, well, I'm, well I mean I mean to be, I mean to be fair, I, I would have forgot but forgotten about it. So uh, I'll wait and see until I get through the uh, the video. So uh, uh, yeah, well that's said and done. Let's get to watching. Who'd, now who do, who do you think is gonna win this one? Um, I'm I'm gonna get. Oops. I'm gonna give um I think um uh Asra, Asra, I think Asra is gonna win this one. Actually, you know, it, it depends on like on which um Broly it is. Um I'm not, not sure, but we'll have to wait and see. So this is um rewind one rewind one I can't say it. Rewind rumbles. Uh Broly versus Asra and three two one and But for others, their fury can lead to their greatest strength. Such okay, so okay, so it's Broly. Both of these giant, powerful brutes are definitely forces to be reckoned with in their own rights. But when pitted against each other, only one will be allowed to I, walk I, I out alive. One, one. Tonight we rewind Rumble. Oh, I <laughs> wanted to say that. I, I think I, I think that's some um, um, Canadian YouTuber. Awesome. Let's start things off with Broly. When he was only born, this kid had a power level of 10,000. Cool. Just out of the womb and he's already stronger than Raditz. He's also much stronger than Nappa. Isn't that worth noting too? Yeah, but Raditz is just too easy of a target. Fair point. Anyway, frightened by the child's power, King Vegeta ordered Broly's execution and stabbed him through the chest with a dagger, as well as wounding Broly's father, Paragus, and leaving them Paragus. both for dead. Then came the fateful moment when the tyrannical Lord Frieza sent his supernova attack towards planet Vegeta in order to destroy it. All hope seemed lost for Broly and his father as their species was on the verge of extinction. But right before the attack hit the planet, Broly awakened his inner power and carried himself and his father off the exploding planet. Keep in mind, this is a newborn child who just been stabbed in the chest. Yeah, not even a year old, and he's already surpassed basically every other Saiyan alive. But how about Azura? Where'd he start off? 12,000 years before the game took place, he right. lived a happy life. Believe it or not, but he wasn't always the roid rage monster we've come to know and love. Azura awesome. isn't the kind of guy you expect to be a family man, but that's what he started out as. Living a normal happy life with his wife Durga and his daughter Mithra. Of course, a happy life doesn't always equal a peaceful one, and Azura certainly did see his fair share of action, and he did keep himself well trained. But mm. things took a turn for the worse for Azura when his daughter was appointed as priestess. This angered Azura Priestess. as he didn't want his own daughter to get involved in any kind of war. Azura was then framed for killing the Emperor. This is when things started to get real bad for the guy. His wife was murdered, his daughter was kidnapped, not to mention the fact that all of his godly powers were taken away and he was banished into a world between life and death. You mean purgatory. Uh. He was banished to purgatory. Anyway, let's change gears for a moment and go back to Broly. More specifically, what kinds of abilities he has. Like many other Dragon Ball characters, Broly is able to manipulate Ki, which allows him to fly and launch energy attacks at his foes. Some examples of his key attacks are the Eraser Cannon, a green energy oh, ball which does a lot more damage than a basic key blast. Ooh, listen, Broly listen, can also quick. launch a barrage of Eraser Cannons in order to hit with as much force oh. as he possibly can. 
can. But his greatest technique is the Omega Blaster, a tiny ball of green key that Broly throws at his targets. As it travels, this ball drastically increases in size to the point where even Broly himself is tiny compared to it. Not only can Broly use key for offense, but he can also use it very well defensively. He can surround himself with a key barrier that can survive dips into molten lava okay. and even with okay. a family okay. command. Okay. 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 But Broly doesn't just... just rely on his key blast for his different techniques. He's quite happy to use his bare hands for different methods of torture. Whether it be grabbing his opponents and throwing them, grappling them and digging his knee into their spine, or just knocking them on the ground and jumping on them like they're a trampoline. Ouch. Ezra has his fair share of abilities and techniques too, though he can't fly like Broly, he still can fire energy blasts, and he's also a master martial artist. Azura has some pretty useful techniques that he can use in battle, such as the rapid fire, which is exactly what it says on the tin. A bunch of energy blasts that Azura can launch rapid fire. The lock on fire is also quite self-explanatory. It's a bunch of energy blasts that lock on to whoever Azura fires them at. There's also his burst technique. It okay, releases quick. a unique attack depending on the situation, kind of like a Bobo's full rage move in a Bobo's big adventure. But what really matters for these guys is their raw strength, and there are more transformations they have that I'm, can boost imagine, their insane strength if, um, even further. For Broly, he has okay, access to the if, Super Saiyan if, form, um, which Asura, has basically become Broly, every Saiyan's birthright uh, at this moment. Uh, yeah, but Broly has access to uh, something uh, nobody uh, else uh, does, uh, the legendary um, Super Saiyan form. Legendary Super Saiyan, but wasn't the original Super Saiyan form already considered okay. legendary? And if so, does this mean Broly is a legendary Super Saiyan that Frieza feared? Those are debates for another time. Let's talk about Azra and some of his forms, starting with Vajra Azra. Not only does this form immensely boost his strength, but it also gives him two extra sets of arms. Hmm. I wonder if he uses them for anything besides combat. <laughs> <laughs> Note to self, never think about Azra's potential internet search history. Dear God, the depths your mind will sink to are unreal. Moving on before any of this gets more awkward, there's also Berserker Azra, though this form turns him into a savage beast and can be burnt out. It also gives him two extra sets of arms. But as Vajra's form Ka also Kalos, gives him Kalos extra like arms, Naruto's, um, why would form. he use the Berserker form over oh, that? Say, like... Well, yeah, but the arms that the Berserker form gives him are on fire. Yeah, I'm unimpressed. They're also on his back, which means they can let him itch those hard-to-reach places. Oh, well, I retract my previous claim. That's much more like it. Anyway, next up is Mantra Azura, the form Azura gains after bathing in the Mantra of Wrath. While it doesn't give him any extra arms, it does give the two arms he has a whole lot of bulk. But enough about all those forms that don't matter in the long run. So, so yeah, Azura's imagine, greatest uh, form Broly, is his Azura, Azura and the, the Hulk. Destructor form. Co com Not combining as one. Give him extra arms. Seriously, what's with all the forms that have extra arms? And why is it just <laughs> barely not enough for me to make memes about Azura being a spider? Because that would be dumb. Anyway, not only does it give him extra arms, but this form even makes Azura bigger than the planet Earth itself, which is huh. very impressive. He can even shrink into a smaller version of this form. It looks like Mantra Azura, except it has six arms, because we couldn't just have one form of Azura that didn't give him six arms. Yeah, but what good is having all these forms of abilities if you can't do anything with them? So let's get into their stats, <laughs> starting with what Broly can do. Broly is insanely strong. Even as a restricted Super Saiyan, Broly was able to destroy an entire galaxy, planet by planet, solar system by solar system, in just a few years. Stack his sand multipliers on top of that, there's no way Broly's gonna back off like some beta. And it doesn't help anyone who Broly faces that his power is they, constantly they, they rising, have, um... though this power does have a limit to how oh, so high can, it can really get. Okay. Broly is also incredibly tough to put down. His pain tolerance is insane. He shrugged off punches from Super Saiyans and even walked through Super Saiyan okay, Goku's command man like it was awful. lights or gusts of wind. Yep, the power level of this guy is ridiculous. Even the combined efforts of Goku, Vegeta, Future Trunks, Gohan, and Piccolo struggled to even Ouch. put up a fight against him. And that was before he got beaten near the brink of death and brought back and gained I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I actually, actually did prefer Broly than I did to um, further. Yeah, after oh, the Zentai called, um, boost, he was uh, able Super to Broly, hold back because a family Kamehameha from Goku, um, Gohan, and Goten. See, Broly's but just a, a because he's psycho. powerful doesn't mean he's slow. Broly is easily massively faster than Light, being able to keep up with the likes of Goku, Gohan, Future Trunks, Piccolo, Vegeta, Goten, and Kid Trunks. 
and he's proved that if he wanted to, he could easily avoid any attack thrown his way as shown when he dodged a flurry of punches from Goku Piccolo at once without even trying. However, Broly clearly prefers to just tank these attacks head on, but we'll get more into that soon. For now, let's discuss Azura. Azura is incredibly strong, being able oh no. to hold back that the man's finger giving him the of finger. a being who towered over planet Earth, and he wasn't even in his final form. He was also able uh, to destroy uh, a I saw this on that like, um, what's it called? Um, power. Death Battles. Then um, again, Craig vs. Scooby. Isn't the same as infinite. Saitama is immeasurable, but he sure as heck ain't infinite. <sighs> it's the same case here. Is so Ezra cool. is also very difficult to put down. Not only can he destroy planets, stars, solar systems, and galaxies being thrown his way, but he can also tank them. And his physicality increases with his wrath. When pushed to his absolute limit, he was able to defeat Chakra Varden, who is Ooh. basically God. Much like okay. Broly, just Chakra because Azra is Chakra strong, Varden. it doesn't Chakra mean he's slow. Chakra Chakra he's Varden. able to punch faster than the eye can see, cross the distance of 26,000 light years between Gaia and the center of the Milky Way in minutes, and even avoid celestial bodies like stars and galaxies being thrown at him by Chakra Varden. Both of these guys are monstrously powerful, blitzingly Seriously, fast, and incredibly overpowered, but neither are perfect, and both can be defeated. Broly isn't exactly a strategist, and he's overconfident to the point where he'll take attacks he could easily avoid. Never be he also has a weak spot on his abdomen, and just one powerful enough attack towards that area could put him out of commission. And while his power rapidly rises, there is a cap to how high it can reach. And if he reaches that peak, his key could start to overflow, and it could possibly leave him in serious danger. To, be, to, be, to be fair, they should, they should, they should have done that with, um, with Super Broly, like, um, like he's, got, he's gotten so powerful that he, that he needs to release it. The he gets, the stronger he gets. However, this means that when starting to battle, Azura won't be at his best. Both of these characters are definitely forces to be I, I, I actually find that very fascinating, like, um, like he's, he's like, survive, growing and growing and growing and growing. Away the victor. But, um, time to rewind at, at a point that he needs to, like, release it. I would really appreciate it if you did not take my lines. Well, that's too bad. Now let's get into this fight already. <laughs> And now, let's set ourselves a circumstance. Let's do humanity a favor and keep these two as far away as possible from populated zones, preferably a desert. No preparation, these guys won't use it anyway, at least not against each other. And one super important thing that I can't make clear enough, this animation you're about to see is not a simulation. There's going to be forms and crazy things that aren't factored into the research. Once that circumstance bar has finally loaded, it's time to rewind rumble. Oh, okay, there's my double shot. I, 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 th I think I haven't um, ratcheted this video. Oh, this is gonna be so good. You're not Kakarot. What would go so far? <laughs> I will kill you! Going to enjoy this. Ready? Rumble! <laughs>
Okay, so uh, I, I guess I guess I was wrong. Hopefully you enjoyed that animation, which was not a simulation, by the way. And if you did, super special thanks to Team uh, Animation I, I, I miss some um, animation Zeno. rewinds of uh, videos. I'd also uh, like videos. to thank a researcher is, and co-host of this episode, your favorite awesome. Canadian YouTuber, who has his own virtual series YouTuber? known Canadian as YouTuber? Show Showdown. This couldn't be done without the script writer and researcher MLG Avocado, and of course, research from BTL Video Productions. Thanks, and enjoy the post-analysis. Alright, here we go. Uh, I mean, okay, animation rewinds. If, if you're listening to this, please, can, you, can, you, can you do like a, oh, a fight boy. with like um? Here come the Broly fanboys! Oh, oh. oh come on, they can't be that bad. Mm. No, you don't understand. They'll tear you limb from a limb. <laughs> maybe, just maybe, they can be calm and rational if we have a descriptive post analysis. I doubt it, but let's try and hope for the best. Sounds good. Now let's start with speed. Broly may be fast enough to keep up with the massively faster than light Z fighters and cover a galaxy in just a few years while he's destroying it, but Azra does top this speed. While covering the area of a galaxy is impressive, you want to know what's even more impressive? What? Reacting to galaxies being thrown at you by God. Broly is crazy fast, don't get us wrong, but he hasn't shown any speed feats that stack up to this. When okay. it comes to strength, okay, Broly that's doesn't fair. exactly that's have fair. any impressive measurable lifting strength feats. The best we can do is compare them to Super Saiyan Goku after his battle with Cell, since that's when they fought. Speed. As a kid, Goku was able to lift a giant boulder bigger than himself. If you remember back to Kid Goku vs. Classic Sonic back on Cartoon Fight Club, that yeah. boulder was estimated to weigh around 350 tons. At the start of the Saiyan Saga, Goku had the power level of around 416. Kid Goku had a power level of roughly 180, so an increase of roughly 2.3 times. This means that Saiyan Saga Goku could lift around 805 tons. After that, Goku was able to train under 10 times normal gravity on King Kai's planet, then 100 times normal gravity in the gravity chamber. This brings his maximum strength strength up to 80,500 tons. Add on the Super Saiyan multiplier and that puts the lifting strength of Super Saiyan Goku during his fight with Frieza at 4,025,000 tons. It's unknown how much stronger Goku got from the Frieza saga right before the Cell games, which yeah. is likely when the first Broly movie takes place so, so, since so, so, Gohan so, 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 Super Saiyan and Goku is still alive, but let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say he grew in strength 100 times. This puts his strength at roughly around 402 million and 500 thousand tons. And let's say Broly is five times stronger than that. I, 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 I this see this, Broly's like, strength ouch. at over 2 billion tons. If we assume his Zenkai boost he got after being beaten near the brink of death, after the first movie doubled his power, and add on the multiplier to Legendary Super Saiyan 3, that gives us a maximum lifting strength of 32 billion to 200 million tons for Broly. So, 32.2 billion tons. That's very impressive, but Azura can definitely top that. Even when Injustice I'm gonna give you the form, finger, he was able to Azura. pull back the finger of the planet-sized Wizen <laughs> that was being pushed towards the planet. Ignoring the force you know that the rest of his you body was you using should've... to push the finger into the Earth, this finger alone easily towered over mountains which could weigh billions of tons and Azura was not only able to stop it dead in its tracks, but push it back. That's not even counting any of Azura's other forms. Heck, his destructor form towers over Earth itself, so he should reasonably be able to lift it. And the Earth has a mass of nearly 6 sextillion tons, so Azura clearly takes a lifting strength edge. In terms of striking strength and taking key out of the equation and only looking at how hard they can punch, Broly was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Z Fighters, the strongest of which being Goku. Through scaling, this should make Broly at least multi-star level to solar system level, since Super Saiyan Goku could fight nearly evenly with Perfect Cell, who should be around half the power of the solar system level Perfect Cell, and Broly was able to casually toy around with Goku even when he had help from four other Z Fighters. But Azura has punched holes through galaxy-sized enemies before, so the striking strength edge definitely goes to Azura. But clearly, Broly is a lot more powerful and destructive when his key is factored in. So let's see how that stacks up next to Azura. Over the course of several years, mm -hmm. Broly was able to destroy the entire South Galaxy as a restricted Super Saiyan. This doesn't exactly make him Legendary galaxy Super level Saiyan. since he didn't do it all at once, but it does put him in the high ends of multi-solar system level. But again, that is just a restricted Super Super Saiyan. He could have easily got the job done much quicker Ouch. at full power. So let's round that up and say Broly is galaxy level. Azura was casually destroying galaxies during his battle with Chakra Varden, and he was even able to fight Chakra on par with and defeat the guy. I don't Come know on, about man. you, I, I, but I haven't I, I, seen Broly do anything on that level I, of I, 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 I
So yeah, it's pretty clear that Ezra takes the power edge. The same applies to durability. Ezra to fair, casually yeah, tanked galaxies yeah. being thrown at him and even tanked hits from the same guy throwing these galaxies. Very impressive seeing that he's the creator of Ezra's universe. And Broly's key output is mostly equal to the amount of force he can withstand. So while it's possible he could be able to take much more damage than he can dish out, and he could have durability that rivals Azura's, he doesn't seem to have any feet backing that up. Intelligence is a tricky category to pick for, but it really isn't one that matters too much. Both are brutes that act purely out of rage. Ezra may be the better hand-to-hand -hand fighter, but it's not like that's going to matter in the long run. As for experience, Azura is over 12,000 years old. You tell me who's more experienced between the two. Now before we wrap things up, there are a few more points that need to be addressed. While it's true that Azura needs to have his wrath pushed to the limit for his greatest feat, and Broly could very well take down a base form Azura at the start of the battle, that's not exactly how Broly likes to fight his battles. Broly is the kind of guy that will intentionally toy with someone just to piss them off and make them angry. And against Azura, that's the last thing you'd want to do. <laughs> Broly also tends to stand that's and true. tank attacks from opponents he perceives as weaker. And against someone who could do some serious damage to him like Azura, that mistake would be fatal. Many of Azura's forms also give him extra arms, usually six. <clears throat> that would give Azura enough arms to hold down Broly's limbs and still have a pair left over to beat him senseless with. Also, <laughs> <laughs> Unlike Broly, Azura doesn't have an exploitable weak spot. However, Broly does. One last thing to point out is that when Azura reaches his limit, he's fine. But when Broly reaches his limit, his key can start to overflow and he can be in some serious danger. Not to mention, Broly has an exploitable weak spot, is in danger when reaching his limit, and his fighting style is literally the worst one to use when fighting against someone like Azura. And I think that's pretty much everything, so to sum it up, Broly may be very fast and powerful, but Azura takes pretty much every statistical advantage. So sorry, Broly, you did put up a good fight, yeah, but in the end, sad. you just ended up succumbing to <laughs> Azura's wrath, making the winner of this battle, Azura. I can hear the rage comments already. How yeah. come he used Broly SSJ4 in the animation, but didn't factor into the research? Well, if you really want us factor into the research that they should, bad, they should, they should totally do like, um, a, su video. a Super Broly if versus Azura. If you want to see a rematch with Dragon Ball Heroes Broly research factored in, then give this video some likes. If this video gets a total of 4,000 likes, such a rematch will be put into production. Don't forget to comment down your own ideas. Don't forget to download the free Animation Rewind apps and stay tuned as the next fighters are going to be revealed on the next episode of Rewind Rumble. Okay, so it's going on. This is super boy. Very cool. I think the gun's got this one. Super boy, super boy can do. Well, actually, he can't, he can't, he can't fly. Come on, come on, yeah, come on. That, 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 that is fair. I mean, considering considering how powerful Asura is. Okay, I have to actually that was pretty freaking sweet. Uh well okay, if there's anyone from like you know um from Animation Rewind, uh, I have a request. Could you guys do um the Biobooster Guyver versus um Iron Man? Like any version. Like about um uh the gi giant version the giant um um Iron Man suit versus uh, the the Guyver because I mean the Guyver also has a, has a giant form so I want to see like the Guyver in w at least w one of these fights please can you make that happen okay that's my that's, that's so yeah that was great so if there's anything you guys want to just leave it in the comments below and I'll get the video as soon as I can and I'll see you guys next time peace out and please don't forget to check out my other social medias please go and check out my alternative video platforms Rumble Odyssey BitChute Twitch and please come and hang out on my Discord server we can play games have a movie night or a series night. 
or you can watch me play a few games. And if you guys have any suggestions of any videos you want me to react to, or any video ideas in general, you can tell me on my Discord. I'm also on Twitter, Gab, Getter, and Paula. I'm on Moguls, Tumblr, Minds, and if you guys want to support me, please go and check out my subscribe star. It's like Patreon, but better. All these things are in the description box below, so please go and check them out and subscribe to them. I'm Geek Freak. Peace out. <laughs>